Hi guys, it's Debbie, and I'm making another video showing you some of the poured paintings that I did. Um, anyways, here's a... Okay, this painting is another one of my favorites. Can't tell you why, but, you know, we always have what we like. It's loaded with cells, and then it has places where it kind of slows down a little bit. Hmm. Anyways, these are all eight by tens. And this is kind of an oceany one. Let's see which way we're gonna look at this one. It almost looks like the white's bubbling up, water bubbling up a little bit. You see a lot of the little so. Let me. I probably should have filmed this in, with the daylight instead of this. Okay, here you go. Um, there's a great big cell right in the middle here. And this one right there too, really. Bunch of little ones, different sized. And I love the way the, the green doesn't show up in too many spots, but it uh, kind of draws your eyes right there when you don't have a whole lot of it and it just comes in and Right at the perfect spot. There's a little bit of teal green down here, too. Then you get all the way up here, and it's pinks, purples, little oranges and pinks. I mean, a little tiny bit of red right there. Mm. Okay, this one is a pretty, very interesting one also. I don't know which way this one's going to be best hanging. Maybe this way. But look at this one I went into it right here. You can see right in here I went into and I kind of put the paint in kind of in a back and forth motion. And that created that line right there. And I also did that right in here. See that? Sorry. I love the way, you know, look at the blue and it just uh, kind of doesn't, it's a kind of amazing. You got yellow, sharp yellow, and then you go right into the blues. There's a lot going on in this one. You could sit and look at this one for quite a while, really. Even in that, it almost reminds me of an eye right there. It's got stuff going on in there, too. Okay, this one here. Okay. And they like to stick together a little bit. Be careful when you store yours. Sorry about all that movement. It's hard to do this. Um, anyways, this one. Like I said, I don't know if it's one of the past videos or this one. Most all these paintings, if you look through my videos, you can find where it was made at. Although they do continue to change while they're drying. I kind of think I like this one. I don't know which way I like this one. It looks like a planet and its surrounding coming in. Look at that there. Just little pinks here and there. Mm. Oops. Until I pick these up, there. I didn't realize they're going to stick together. It's just still amazing. This still always amazes me. I get something different every time. You could probably mix it all the paints exactly alike, pour them out, and they're going to be totally different.
one ended up pretty cool too. A lot of reds, orange, bright colors. I wanted to show you this edge right here. <laughs> okay. This is another one of my really liked a lot. Okay. Can't tell you exactly why. It's amazing. Some resonate with you as an artist. And as somebody who's going to purchase them, look at how the little yellow line around, then you got blue and pink, and then blue again. <laughs> Down here, you just got all kinds of cool stuff going on. And then you got this little wiggly thing. Let's see, where, where's that again? Right there. It's probably where I dribbled after I pulled the paint away. It's probably where the last little strain of paint was coming out of the cup. <laughs> okay. My cat's under this table and she's batting my leg. <laughs> Makes me jump every once in a while. <laughs> okay. Um, and this one's, you know, I don't know. Almost looks like there's a seashell right there. And if you haven't done any of this painting, you can do it too, very simply. Just go buy yourself a, you know, get yourself three, four colors. Always make sure you have white. And um, white, thin them down so that they're pourable. If you watch, you know, Make sure you can pour them out. You can thin them with anything. I mean, you can even thin them with water. The only thing is if you thin them with water, sometimes they're going to mix together a little more than they do with a pouring medium. And uh, you probably will not get as many cells. This little corner down in here has got a lot of stuff going on down in here, too. <laughs> now this one had a lot of paint on it and you can kind of see right in here where the paint separate a little bit and pulled back and it pulled out the other color that's on there this one I really love for some reason too Anyways, I want to thank you again for watching, and maybe in another week or so I'll make another video showing you some close-ups of some other paintings that were made doing this method. Thank you for watching.